great. I thought you guys had hit peak applause, and then you had more for me. I love that. That's good. Well, you guys are going to love our next guest. Uh, you know I respect a lot of the entrepreneurs downtown, and there is no exception with Jonathan Jenkins, who's coming up next. He is the founder of Order With Me, which is one of, the, one of my favorite startups because they're really rethinking the way that people deal with payments. And it's always hard to have cash. Always credit cards cause issue. And if anybody's been down to the pop-up store, the new Zappos pop-up store that's at the Western, you've actually seen the product that his company has. So I'm excited to bring him out here and learn a little bit more. So put your hands together for Jonathan. Yeah. Nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, have a seat. And I'm excited to learn more. So, okay. So first off, like as a person outside of just this company you've built, sure. Um, tell me about yourself. Like I heard maybe there's some new kids. A new kid? A one at a oh, time. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I don't know if I could do two. So one at a time. No, my wife and I, we have a new uh, six-month-old, Jake. And so it's been great. Uh, every morning, my wife, Danielle, and I co-founded the company together. We jump in the car. The two dogs jump in the car. The baby gets in the car. And we all go to work together. So you've got one of those uh, relationship and business things all glued together, kind of? Uh, I don't know if it's glued together, but it's it's taped together. Yeah, okay. it, it sticks there. I mean, it's, it can it's be a, separated it's a process. It it yeah, yeah, we, like we've learned. But it's been fun. Jake's been, Jake's been a lot of fun. And we uh, enjoy working with him. So oh, cool. I keep saying is when he's... Is your first kid? It is our first kid. Oh, and right. so he goes to work with he us every day. Is. When he's 18, uh, he's either going to have the best work ethic ever or he's going to be a bump because he's like, I've been working 18 years. I'm done, Dad. I'm, I'm retired. And so I don't know if we're messing him up or helping him, but no. either way, it's Whatever fun. you want for him, it'll be different. Uh, sure, so that's sure. the only thing that seems to occur. Uh, um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, he's, he, he sleeps well? He's a good kid? Uh, yeah, I mean, the other day, uh, my wife, and I was, I was messaging her. I was like, how you doing? Where you at? She goes, I'm up in the office watching the demon. And I said, the, the de I'm sorry. And <laughs> you know, I mean, he's he has kind of fussy sometimes. And then she goes, no, 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 the demon. And I'm like, ah, oh, and kind of find out it was an autocorrect fail. <laughs> and uh, she was there watching a yeah. demo. <laughs> and so she goes, he's not a demon. And I'm watching a demo. And so I was like, uh, I was kind of scared for her for a minute. But yeah. Right. So let's, let's talk about your company. O sure. Order with me, what does it do? Yeah, we work with uh, usually independent small businesses, and we really help thinking the future of retail, uh, mainly for our independent retailers on the ordering of their product, hence order with me. So that means everything from their purchase orders to their invoicing and to their payments, so that to suppliers, they actually act as one huge national account. Right. Uh, and so instead of one little bike shop ordering a million dollars, we have 500 bike shops ordering $500 million, which gives them better pricing, better terms, and allows them to compete against the big retailers. Right. It seems really smart. I mean, when I first uh, heard you pitch it, to me, I kind of thought, how great it is when a company like Costco can buy in bulk and share it sure. with all the people. So I see it kind of as the same way for businesses. It is. Um, it's, uh... But talk to me about the future of how payments would work. I mean, I, I saw the big Apple Pay thing, but sure. even with my iPhone, I haven't seemed to really use it recently. Sure. But I'm wondering, like, what do you see the future looking like as far as payments? Yeah, so for us, you know, we're looking at the future of uh, retail as a whole, that everything from the products you want to the way you pay for them to the way you order them to whether you pick them up or they're delivered. And so for us, when we're looking at it, we've helped a lot of our small businesses order their inventory. And now we're getting to this new concept, which we're calling Shop With Me, which is helping consumers find a new way to shop brick and mortar retailers. And so we're really right. excited about that and Zappos is the first one deploying it at their pop-up shop downtown. Right and it's a cool experience. Yeah it's a 20,000 square foot store and so the store allows you to go through 16 different categories of items that Zappos carries, discover all kinds of cool products. You can walk up, uh, scan an item at one of the kiosks, see the other colors and sizes, use your mobile app, purchase in store and then it'll be delivered free next day shipping. And so kind of blending the best of physical retail with uh, right. virtual and online. So the, the power of it is that if you have say a shoe that isn't in the right color you can actually go to the bigger inventory story yeah. and have the, the bigger selection, but still have the comfort of like talking to someone, seeing how it fits. Exactly. Kind of having that mixed how, how many times have we gone to a shoe store and we're trying to have, find someone to help us and see if they have our size yeah. or the color? And yeah. We don't. They can't find it, or it takes too long, or they don't have it. So with us, Shop with Me says somebody in our network has it. Whether it's Zappos, whether it's independent retailer, the brand, the distributor, more than happy to ship it out to you the next day. Right. And so what we do is let you uh, go through what uh, Tony likes to call the shoe matrix. And so scan an uh -huh. item, and we go through this matrix to find all the other available items to get you what you what you need. And so. You never leave the store disappointed because you couldn't find the size or color you wanted. Okay. So I have a feeling you're pretty good with inventory, pretty good at gauging what prices should go where. <laughs> so um, are you a Price is Right fan? I, I love the Price is Right. I grew up watching that. Good. Yeah. All right. So as soon as we come back, we're going to play a little game with you. Sounds it's good. It's from the Price is Right. So okay. stay tuned. We'll see you in a second. Nice. All right. All right. Stepping over here to the other part of our set. Yeah, I'm excited. Nice. Okay, so here's how the game works. It's called Over yeah. and Under. We're going to present to you a number of items that are from the market downtown. 
And yeah. you have to be within $10 to $12 when you total whatever items you choose together. Now, we don't want to be over that or you gotcha. lose. You don't want to be under it or you lose. Okay. What you win is the items themselves. Gotcha. Okay, Sorry, that makes it's sense. not like a car. No, no, no. I'm, I'm good with that. If I take okay. home groceries, my wife will be happy. So I did some work. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's bring over our intern who's going to pretend they're a... Um, Whatever, check out person. I went to Harvard for this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we have for the items there tonight? Hey, trash bag to put my Harvard degree. Sure. <laughs> oh, an amazing seventh generation garbage sack. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Remind me of my Harvard oh, days. Oh, beautiful. All right, we've got a pumpkin ale. Pumpkin. Looks like we've got a six pack of it. Green tea. Oh, very good choice, right, for the non drinker. And then red cups for the. Bargain basement drinker. <laughs> the moonshine. Spoiled uh, milk. It's a little spoiled there, Dylan. No, no, December. You better not be giving this to Santa Claus, I'll tell you that. No, He's not gonna. Not, I just put. Er, uh, that's getting really close. <laughs> could be, there could be a few more days on that to go on, but it. And then, of course, a six pack of Coke. It's a five pack now. Uh, well, we'll go with the original price. Imagine there were six. <laughs> okay. For this sake. Yeah, you can't put those back in. Cut them so they don't kill birds. Okay, so here's how it goes. We have the contest now. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was not planned, and that was really funny. That was good. Okay, so anyways, um, so this is this is your big moment, right? Okay. So you've seen the prices, right? I'm sure, sure you're. Sure, sure. You know, how should we price this thing? But we're going for between ten and twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Tell me what the items you'd like are. Okay. Uh, do I get help from the audience? Or is oh, it just, audience, uh, yeah, I'd love to have some like, input you know, on that. Right, right, you guys know. Ale? What do you think you should pick pumpkin first? Ale? The green tea? Anybody I, I guess anything? I think everyone tea? wants the pumpkin ale. Okay. Yeah, right, let's so try the pumpkin ale. So how many dollars do you think this is worth? What do you think? Well, see, the problem is I don't drink, and so I have no idea. Oh, I was just listening to the audience. I was just like, well, because if I win it, then I win it, then I can give it to them. They're happy, right? I know the price you. Great. You split it with me. Oh, yeah, that could work. Bribes, okay? Let me guess. And dude, $7? Okay, so you're at $7, so we, we'll keep, keep going. Is that anywhere close for not, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. We'll find out here at the All end, right. you're at 7 Okay, so, so you got they're five. not helping me now, you so need between, I really you suck need, at this game. You need game. between 3 and $5 more, dollars. 3 and $5 more. 3 dollars. and 5 It could be a combination, it could be one more item, whatever you think we'd be dealing with there. Because you want to be between 10 well, I'm here. Do, I'm hearing a lot of, a lot of red cups. Trash I'm trash hearing bags. trash bags. Are they trash bags? Let's oh, you can hear the trash bags. bags. Okay, so how much do you think these are worth? Uh, four bucks. All right, so that should put you right in dollars, right? That is. So uh, right where you should be. Um, could you go ahead and calculate up? So first off, how much is it for the beer? The beer is. $7.99. Oh, 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 look at that. Let me okay. get my calculator out. Uh, <laughs> math wasn't my specialty. That's probably why I'm here. <laughs> that Harvard degree will come through. Yeah, right? Hopefully. It will. Uh, it will definitely come through. Trash bag. So you're at $8. Trash so bags eight. you're going to want this so to be two, less between than 2 four. and $4? Oh, no. I'm, I'm in trouble. That's okay. Don't, don't psych I'm yourself out. Tell me. Split it. <laughs> no, beer, I'll tell you, no I'll you right. This thing. Can, I, can I go for the milk? Can I go for the milk? <laughs> Spoil, too. Might get a half off. <laughs> uh, yeah, the total was fourteen sixty eight. Oh, uh, oh, trash sorry. bag was six sixty nine. Right, but thank you for hey, playing. Thanks. Everybody, check out Order with Me. It's down yeah. at the pop up store if you want to see it. And uh, anything else? Check out your website. Any other? Yeah, products? sounds good. Find us at orderwithme.com. Sure. All right, and he doesn't get any of these prizes, so come grab nope, a beer. There's a lot of beer. Afterwards, so <laughs> <laughs> love it. Okay, and after this break, we're going to be right back, and we are going to hear an amazing original song called Smile On by Anna Durden. So stay tuned. <laughs> Coke, maybe? Do I get another one? Uh, yeah, you did. Get the coke. There we go.